Okay guys, the first thing we're gonna do is take this engine cover off. Um, these Ecotec vehicles have the air induction system built in the engine cover, so what we're gonna have to do is take that clamp out, which is an eight millimeter, and there's also one down there, I don't know if you can see. Clamp right there, it's another eight millimeter, which connects to the throttle body. Um, so we gotta take those two off first to remove the engine cover. to also unscrew the oil cap because that's keeping the uh, cover held on in place as well so once you remove the clamp the clamp at the bottom and the oil cap just wiggle it it should come out okay. oh one thing I forgot sorry about that you also got to remove this hose. So we're going to remove this hose with some clamps because it's connected to the uh, this whole assembly here, this air induction assembly. Okay, now it should come out. Make sure that after you take the uh, engine cover out, you put the uh, oil cap back in because you don't want nothing accidentally getting dropped in there, a socket, a piece of metal, because then it'll be, be a bad situation. So. Okay, so first we're going to replace the intake and exhaust camshaft solenoid valves, which are these two here. Um, before I start doing anything, I see that there's a lot of debris in there. I don't know if you can see it all over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean that up first before I take this out because I don't want any of that debris or any of that dirt to get inside that, um, that area there. debris at least you know loose debris um, we're going to take these plugs out what you're gonna do is you're gonna press on those tabs and they should come right out so take those out first okay now that those connections have been taken out we're going to use a 10 millimeter to get to that 10 millimeter bolt as well as this one so use an extension with a 10 millimeter and take those two 10 millimeter bolts out. Okay, before you take the solenoids out, make sure you just give them a little wiggle. And so, move them back and forth, just so you know, you can loosen up the the o-ring that's pressurized in there so just give them some a wiggle back and forth first what I've found out that works is use um, some hose clamps like these and grab the body you can't really use this in two hands but if you grab the body as so and just give it a tug as back and forth you know, in motion like that, you should be able to wiggle it out. Okay. It should come out. And so this is what it looks like. You can't really get them confused because they're two different colors. White for intake, black for exhaust. So now I'm gonna take the other one out. Okay, here's the other one, see? You just grab it from the body and give it a twist back and forth. While you pull up at the same time, it should come out. Okay, as you can see, the new one's down here, the old one's up here. 
Um, before installation, make sure you put a little bit of oil. You can put a little bit of new engine oil here just so the uh, the O-rings there could be lubricated so they can sit in place, you know, in the first shot and not have to, you know, wiggle it. That way you can damage the, uh, the O-ring there. So put a little bit of engine oil before installing. It'll make it a little bit easier. Okay, guys, so you gotta make sure you erase the codes that you had prior to installing the intake and exhaust cam position solenoid valves. So I'm gonna erase the light now. Make sure my ignition is on, which it is. Okay, 